Hi there, in the short lecture, we will learn about how to save files within any kind of an application. Most of the applications, this is the method that you are going to save it. So, let's say if I want to work with a notepad, I could you know, go to all applications and have a look on notepad application. So, notepads will be here in the alphabetical order N. So I can open up notepad and let's say I wanted to write something. For example, this is a demo. And if you see that it's a, for a notepad, a special thing is like you get the asterisk. That means it's not it's saved. As soon as I see that, you know, I can actually save it by clicking on a file. File button will have the save option as well as a save as. So save and save as for the first time when you're trying to save, it is one and the same. But if you save already the file you want to keep uh, you want to keep another version of same file you could do that so that you can go into a different direction so let's first begin with the saving so click on save this will open a windows explorer specific view and you could have an option to save wherever you would like to uh, save it for example i wanted to go to my pinned items called documents and within this i want to save under projects this file name so give a proper file name for example this is the sample version 1 example sample v1 and I can save this now if you see here there's no star button but as soon as I hit enter and write uh, like you know version 1 so as you type it actually the star button is coming so you don't have an automated option to save automatically so you must have to save it if you do not save the f whatever the content is here you will be losing so make sure that whatever the work you have you're doing it please do save it now let's try also understand the save as button so initially we discussed about the save as save as makes the same file can be saved into a different version or different direction you could you know save it so that you can take that into a different version for example I want to keep this file as this save uh, sample 1 but I want to make this as a sample version 2 so that I can save here my content as a version 2 and uh, I can save this so what would happen is now we have version 2 and if I just go back and open up my sample 1 I also have a sample version 1 and 2 right so this is how you could you know use file menu to save or save as the same thing goes for other applications let's try to save or open or create a new application called word application so I'll just click on a word document and click on a blank document I would like to you know uh, type something here uh, you have an option here save uh, version 1 so you do have option here uh, this icon actually represents here to save it otherwise you can always go to the file menu somewhere here the save and save as will be there for most of the applications so in my case I can save here uh, when I click on save or save as for the first time it actually asks one and the same right for the first time when you click on save or save as it is one and the same but from once you saved it it actually differs right so first thing I'm going to save this to my OneDrive so that it gets automatically I wanted to you know save here so like you know version 1 I wanted to give here click on save so this is where the file got you know saved now if you see here since it's a OneDrive it is actually trying to contact to Microsoft OneDrive uh, to save it in the server not in my computer of course in my computer by using that it actually saving into the cloud environment that's why it's taking some time to save the file it all depends on your internet speed and connectivity okay and once it is saved you could actually work on it for example the document and then you also get it here if you have your office 365 subscription here on off button for automated saving option but in our case we could even save this file so this is how you could you know save it and the same file can be save as to by browsing to another folder or file uh, like i would like to you know save this to my computer or 
so I could you know just go to the desktop and say version 1 or version 2 uh, this can be document so it's just maintaining the another copy of the similar document I could you know do it so this is how you could actually do it for example in a temp I'm gonna save it as a version 2 so that uh, in a version 2 I can work on it whatever the additional things I wanted to do it and this uh, save button has changed because it is temp folder is not getting synced with the OneDrive that's why you are getting this option this is how you could you know do the further changes for saving part once you saved it you could even close it and you'll have now two files one would be the version one on OneDrive another one would be the version 2 from a temp 2 folder so that you could work based on your directions or based on your plan or you could you know work on it either version 1 or version 2 document based on your requirement I hope this short lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this